the post in Pennsylvania academic standards specifically made for kindergarten that this lesson will address are 2.1 point B, which is numbers, number systems, and number relationships, the use of concrete objects to represent numbers up to and including 20. The students will also be uh, assessing the standard 2.4 point A, which is mathematical reasoning, and that standard addresses the use of mathematical vocabulary to compare objects because of their shape, size, and quantity. And because it is a graphing lesson, this will also address standard 2.6.A, which is statistics and data analysis, the gathering, organization, and display of information on bar graphs or pictographs, like the one behind me. They will also be addressing standard 2.6.D, which again is statistics and data analysis, and that is the use of a graph in answering questions and forming opinions. The corresponding mathematical assessment anchor that goes along with this lesson is M.3.A.1, and that again is numbers, number systems, and number relationships. The demonstrating of understanding of numbers, ways of representing numbers, relationships among numbers, and number systems. My lesson will follow a simple format. It will begin with the anticipatory set of a class graph, which I set up behind me. The students will form one themselves to learn what the graph needs to be made. And then the students will review a graph using a worksheet provided by the text. And finally, to assess understanding, the students will analyze their own class graph at the conclusion of the lesson. You're going to learn about how to read a graph, how to make a graph, okay? you're going to learn how to answer questions that come based upon graphs, and the one that's on your worksheet, they all have to do with things you would see at the beach. Okay? So we're going to make a class graph right here so that you can see one in real life. Oh. All right. And let's look it up the board. We have starfish, we have frogs, we have regular with goldfish, and we have sailboats. Raise your hand if you can tell me where do all of those things belong? Samantha's sitting next to you. At the beach, but where? In the ocean. Is it on at the beach? In the ocean. In the ocean. So these are all ocean objects. And every graph, boys and girls, has a title. I think ocean objects would be a good title for this graph? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going to write ocean objects. Table, you each have a different ocean object. And it's going to be your job to count how many of that object you have. Okay, so we're going to start first with the starfish table.
And then we put the objects there. She's thinking, who knows what type of graph this is? I'll give you, I'll give you two choices. It's either a bar graph or a pictograph. Avery. Is a bar graph or a pictograph? Pictograph is correct because what did we use? We used pictures to show you how much there are. Okay? And then what did we label at the end? The number. number. How many there were so that everybody knows how many are in each row. Okay? Do you think you're going to be able to read your own bar or your own pictographs now? Yes. From the worksheet? of shell, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's why they have twelve written here. So you're going to trace that twelve. All right. Then which shells do they want us to look at, the gray or the yellow? Gray. They want us to look at the gray, so let's count the gray shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of those. How do I write ten? One and a zero. One and a zero. So right next to the gray, why do you do one and a zero? Just like that. Do you see, Christopher? Okay. I'll walk it around so everyone can see. And what's the last color shell we have to count? The yellow. Yellow. the yellow shell. So let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How do I write a fifteen? A one and a five. A one and a five. Who thinks they know how to figure this one out? See, someone I haven't called on yet. Molly, how do you figure it out? You look at the gray and the yellow, right? And there's more yellow than gray, correct? So we go to the end of the gray, and that's the same number right there. So now we just have to count how many more there are. So ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So there are five more yellow shells than gray shells. Made one. Let's see if we can read it out of a flash. Do you understand how to read a graph now? No. Yes. Okay. Well, then you tell me quickly which one has the most. Twenty. Twenty. What are they? Four fish. What has the least? Oh, um, sailboats. Sailboats. Which one's more? Frogs? Which one's more? Frogs or fish? 